Hi everybody. So today we are actually going to talk about something a little bit different. And it's going to be a very boring, low-key video with nothing too exciting going on. No, that's it. We're going to do cool stuff. So, there is this sport. Sport, use the term loosely, I mean it's debatable, it's not exactly Olympic sanctioned or anything. But there is this sport called wife carrying. And it really is exactly what the name implies. You carry your wife through an obstacle course, and the fastest time wins. Actually, this is what it looks like. <whistles> Creepy, huh? Uh, yeah. So, anyway, I have actually come up with a variation of wife carrying called lady sprinting. I blogged about this before, original blog post link down in the description. Um, but the premise is very similar but there are a couple pretty big differences. Just explaining the differences is a little bit difficult, so I'm actually going to have a couple helpers give you an example later on. Meet my helpers. Red me and blue me. Oh, they're so cute. Right, uh, we don't need them now. Now, before I begin, let me preface this by saying that any pronoun like he or she, they're, they're totally interchangeable. Uh, just because it's called lady sprinting doesn't mean that a woman can carry a man, a woman carry a woman, a man carry a man, doesn't really matter. Just calling it lady sprinting, basing it off the whole wife carrying thing. So pronouns, I'm just, I'm probably going to use like he and she matching the wife carrying sport, but basically anything goes. Just, just want to be clear on that. So with that said, let me give you an example of how lady sprinting actually works. The first big difference between lady sprinting and wife carrying is that each contestant, each person actually competing, can have up to two people that they carry. Okay, so in wife carrying, it's just one man carrying his wife. In lady sprinting, uh, the contestant can carry up to two people if they so choose. They don't have to carry two, but they can if they want. They have to carry at least one person, they can carry two if they choose. The problem is that for this example, I only have one wife and she's not even here right now. So no offense to her or wives in general, but for this example, I'm going to use a bag of potatoes to represent a person. So uh, yeah, sorry wives. With that said, there is actually some strategy involved in lady sprinting because each contestant only gets one minute to carry their ladies as far as he can, okay? So the contestant actually has to make a choice if he wants to carry two very large people a short distance or one rather light person a very far distance. So you kind of have to pick and choose. There's a little strategy, endurance versus strength going on with this whole thing. Yeah, so that's the basic premise. How you win is you actually get a score based on the weight of the people you're carrying and how far you go, which can be a little bit confusing. So let me actually get my helpers, hi guys, to show you a little example of how this works. Red me is going to take one small potato sack. Uh, blue me is going to take one large potato sack. Blue me could take two potato sacks if he wanted to, he does not have to. Uh, but it is an option. Basically, you can pile on as much weight as you want up to two people. Both contestants have one minute to run as far as they can down the course. So let's get a little course down here. And red me and blue me with our little potato sacks ready to go. Remember the blue me is carrying a larger potato sack than red me. Weighs more. Alright, so they've got one minute, but uh, we're going to speed up a little bit. So... There you go, that was one minute. All right, so we can see from our little course down here that Red Me ran 200 feet carrying a five pound sack of potatoes. Pretty respectable. Blue Me ran 125 feet carrying a 10 pound sack of potatoes. So Blue Me ran less distance, but he was carrying more weight. Red Me ran further distance carrying less weight. Now we get to actually calculate their scores. So there are a number of ways to do the calculation and it's honestly a little confusing and I don't have this part entirely worked out. 
Um, but for now, we'll just use the basic distance times weight metric, okay? So for each contestant, we take their distance, uh, the distance they ran, times the weight they were carrying, and that gives them a final score. So here we have a little math, and a little more math, and we can see that blue me won. Yeah, yeah, you're so proud of yourself, Mr. Blue Me. Look at how happy he is. So Blue Me won in this case, because he has a higher score. But now, the really interesting part about lady sprinting is that we can actually change our calculation in an infinite number of ways to give preference to more weight, preference to further distance run, or even preference the number of people carrying it, if we so choose. We could just we could do a metric where the, the distance that's ran is a much smaller number by using a different unit. We could say yards instead of feet, it essentially cuts the, the distance people ran by a factor of three. And so there are quite a few possibilities in this. This is one bit that I really don't have worked out, so if you've got any suggestions on a good solid scoring or even having multiple variations of lady sprinting, some focusing on endurance, some focusing on strength with different metrics for this calculation, leave a comment down below and uh, we can get a little discussion going on that front. That's it. That's lady sprinting. Uh, if you're still confused, leave a comment, ask me, I'll try to clarify, read the blog. Uh, yeah. Basically, I think it's a pretty neat idea, so I think we're going to have to give this a go sometime. Anybody say YouTube lady sprinting picnic? Eh? Eh? Pretty good, huh? So yeah, that's lady sprinting.